I did not work directly with uh, Justice Jackson. Mm -hmm. I worked directly with the general. Right. And when he and Jackson split, then I went with Father Walsh on the brief on the Christian churches, and then as executive officer for Section 6 on the brief on the criminal organizations. <clears throat> but my, my compelling interest is uh, General Donovan. I was with OSS. Mm -hmm. I was scheduled to go as a civilian agent to the CBI theater because of my investigative background. I was, came to Washington in 1940. I investigated communists and uh, suitability and security cases for the government. And OSS uh, needed all the people with investigative experience they could get and I chose to go first as a civilian agent, and then I changed my mind and uh, volunteered. And when I got processed through induction at Fort Meade. Now, when did you get there at Nuremberg? Uh, in September 45. Okay, and you were assigned, you were with Gen General Donovan's staff? Well, I was with OSS here in, in Washington. In uh, first in the Office of General Counsel, and then uh, on the War Crimes Staff, uh, which was working feverishly to uh, recruit and to uh, bring all the data together, because this was essentially an American show, U.S., not British, French, or Soviet. Right. And secondly, the staffing was heavily American. Right. And we were processing uh, attorneys and others into OSS for assignment there. So I, I was working on war crimes uh, material to go in as evidence. Mm -hmm. Here in Washington, the general uh, was appointed deputy prosecutor. I thought he should have been the chief prosecutor. Right. So did a lot of other people. But uh, uh, he sent me, he recruited, interviewed a number of uh, GIs, and I was selected to be sent over in advance of his arrival. And did you have interface at that time with some of Jackson's staff? Oh yeah, this, this was a this was a small, relatively small group of people. We had in Section Six about thirteen attorneys. Mm -hmm. And that's the section you were assigned to. Well, I was first with uh, Donovan as his aide. Right. And when he and Jackson agreed to disagree, Donovan left. And when Donovan left. Father Walsh asked me to join him, and when that brief went in, Colonel George C., who is head of Section 6, asked me to be the EO for him. Gotcha. So when that went in, I went home. Walsh was probably one of the two or three most outstanding geopoliticians of the era, and an expert on communism had lectured throughout this country. Did you have a chance to uh, interact at all with Justice Jackson? No. Nope. Uh, I did uh, later. He, I had not uh, uh, gotten my law degree before the trials, and uh, he wrote a splendid letter for me and uh, for admission to DW. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I'm grateful for that. I, in effect, a secretary to him during this period. Right. He didn't come to me and say, Pat, I want to sit down and get your views. Right. Uh, what, what I know 
know or perceive or conclude is from the correspondence we had for the telephone calls that that uh, we constantly were putting through uh, on the continent for him for meetings that where I'd be in the area. Sure. I I have my recollections of where he stood on a number of issues that were key to him. Much of Nuremberg, as you probably well know, was pretty well blitzed. Miles and miles of just rubble. But there were a number of uh, stately homes that had been preserved, and half of the Grand Hotel survived where I was built in. Mm -hmm. General uh, was assigned one of the very nice homes, and we would frequently eat in the day, repair to the house for dinner, and then work in the evening mm -hmm. before the general to set up and have things well underway in preparation for the trials. And he put this together, not with the whole army of uh, skilled people, thank you, but this, this was William Donovan himself uh, conceiving and, and, and uh, directing and accomplishing in an incredibly short time, a, an organization with a huge mission and carried it out very successfully. I, I've been in the government for over 30 years. I've known some capable people, some great people, but no one like this man and the passion for him by people who surrounded him was was without a, a, a similar uh, individual reaching the, the level. CIA, which is far from what it was, I, I went to the Counterintelligence Corps after Nuremberg, and then I went with CIA. And it was a great agency historically. But... The agency has always respected what Donovan did. I, I don't know of another agency that has a bust of not one of its own uh, leaders, but a forerunner, and who and which gives acknowledgement to what. Uh, the predecessor and predecessor has, has done to, to make it possible for CIA to have succeeded. And here's a fact we must say. Today there is not a single permanent agency to take over in peacetime certain of the functions which OSS has performed in wartime. The greatest nation in the world cannot rely upon physical strength alone.